is exactly how you vote. You put your thumb on the stamp pad and then you vote right here. And then make sure that your hand, your, your thumb has taken a lot of ink so that it can show correctly on whoever, whatever candidate you are supporting. Thank you. Like we know, and like I said earlier, it is no news that many Nigerians don't know how to vote correctly. Some people turn print across the line. Some don't even get so much enough ink to turn print correctly. And that is why we came on the street to teach people how to vote correctly. Thank you very much for staying with us. This is the Vox Pop on the Way Show. And of course, it's your girl, Dami. Thank you. Till next time. Bye bye. The D-Day is fast approaching and despite the economic frustration all over the country currently that is experienced by Nigerians, majority have armed themselves with the tool for change, which is the PVC. Now, to ensure that our votes, our efforts and our, our motivations do not go to waste, it is imperative that the citizens are adequately informed on the expectations and adequately prepared to vote for their preferred candidates. Here is a list of things you can do as you prepare for the forthcoming elections. Okay, who would come back to that? What are some of the do's and don'ts that you think citizens should take note of as we prepare for the elections? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. You could also tweet to us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WaysShow. Okay. I mean... We've been talking, <coughs> voting, 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 voting. And I remember when we were talking about it in the makeup room today, and it's like, so what are we even supposed to do in the first place? How are we supposed to go about that day? Well, I'm very sure we're all going out to vote, right? Yes, yes we are. It's only Unoma that I wouldn't expect to vote, but I'm sure the three of us sitting on this table would be going out to vote on Saturday. Mary, please don't look at me like that. <laughs> most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. Uh, okay, so then um, I, I just want us to, we'll be talking tonight about what the voters should know what the process might be like or what are the steps that it is that we should take. I know one thing for sure is we need to stay away from wearing any emblem or any crest of any party, irrespective if you support the party or not. This is just for your own safety. safety. Like I said, like we need to hide our heads, right, and try to stay safe because that should be our priority. Safety should be our priority right now. So one thing I would say is stay safe. Don't wear any crested, you know, um, merch or whatever it is on that day. NJ, what, what, what do you have to say? Um, I would say be safe. Mm. And in other ways, there are other ways I think you can be safe. Some people are going to go out with bats for their own personal <laughs> safety. Like you rightly said. Some people are going to go out with tasers for their own personal mm. safety. But I know also because of the weight and because of the duration of the whole election process, yeah. um, verification and what have you, uh, people are advised to have something to drink, have something to snack on, mm. have um, have an, like a starter pack, have an umbrella, you know, water, very essential, <coughs> uh, fruits me. or something, sunglasses, obviously, because they're going to be under the under sun. Under the sun, yeah. And Wear your yeah, sunscreen. So sunscreen, personal mm. protection. Mm -hmm. You know, there are different ways people wear sneakers just in case something happens, okay. you know. So, yeah, you're better off just wearing, like, a T-shirt and jeans or a T-shirt and joggers. Just simple, you know, very basic, casual outfit just for comfort and ease of movement. Mm. Mary? Um, I think for me, I would say I think we should go out early which is my, the stated time. Mm. The earlier, the better, you know, because at that time, um, people are still not thinking of being that violent. Mm. 
And I will come from the point of prepare your mental state in the sense that you're an individual. It doesn't really matter who the people around you are voting for. Yeah. Make up your mind. This is what you want. Whoever it is, you know, you have to be sure of yourself and go there. Do perform your civil rights as a citizen of the country yeah. and just go home. You yeah. know, violence is really not the solution to things. So um, for me, the preparation of the mental state, you know, it's not the time to have any debate about who are you voting, yeah. why should you vote this person. It's okay. Everybody is entitled to have their different choices. So I would say just make up your mind mentally. It doesn't matter if your candidate wins or not, but you know in your heart of heart that this is who you want to vote for and you have your reasons for that. Well, yeah. And so go out early, perform your civic duties, and you know just go home and rest. I think it should be a free day for everybody. Yeah, okay. Noma. Noma, are you there? Okay, I think we lost Noma for you. So I was all actually going to mention that I think in the first place, I mean, I want to believe that everybody that intends to vote on Saturday already has their, their PVC, right? So I would also say identify people around you who you are going to be in the same polling unit as yeah. well. Okay. Yeah, okay. identify your polling units because I'm aware that on that day, vehicles might not, there might be no vehicular movement, so you might so have you to might be able to walk to your polling. So make sure that you are very close to your polling <coughs> unit. You might not have the opportunity, you know, to drive there. Very important, have a power bank. Especially oh, for yeah. people like me that our phones don't last. Oh, wow. So so very long important. my phone literally stays 20 minutes so it's very important that you have a power bank to you know charge your devices and all of that have an umbrella or you know sunshade like NJ said rub your sunscreen to protect your face or wear a face cap wear a hat or something just to make sure that you're comfortable have some water to drink with you so that you're not dehydrated because I mean you're going to be in the sun I wonder that these days the sun really is not it's not smiling yeah. yet so I think that's that some key some key you're going to say something yeah I think I would also advise that maybe you could share your location with family and friends mm, mm, you know mm. um, if you think you've been out there for quite a bit yeah. and you know maybe because of how slow the process is you can just share your location so you know, just so that someone is you know aware of you know, where you mm -hmm. are you yes, know, that's yes. common now um, leaving yeah. so that comfortable helps to be clothing safe. too it's very important to wear Clothes that you'll be very comfortable in, <laughs> and you said wear your sneakers just in just case. In case. Yeah, you, you have know. to. Yeah. I can <laughs> see that you know there's the pr uh, voting procedure, which um, as uh, says that voting starts about eight thirty in the morning. AM, yes. So when you get there, um, I'll just run through the procedure. Mm -hmm. When you get there at eight thirty in the morning, you present your PVC for accreditation using BVAS. Mm -hmm. And after that, you check to be sure that your name is on the register of voters in the polling unit. Mm. And after that, you get authenticated with the beavers uh, through a fingerprint or facial uh, biometric. Um, after that, once you're accredited, you will be issued a ballot paper. Now, when you get that is when you now go into the voting cubicle to make your choice in secret and drop your marked ballot paper in the ballot box. So you can leave there, you can leave or stay 300 meters away from the voting area to witness voting, sorting, <coughs> and counting. Jeez. So this is just a brief on the voting procedure and how it's going to go on Saturday, the 25th of uh, February, and also on Saturday, the 11th of March, uh, mm -hmm. which is next week. Next week, Saturday. So as well. it's the same procedure, and I just hope that. Uh, uh, the government, from speaking from the at that angle, that they are indeed ready for these elections. Because for me, I feel like there are basic areas that they need to pay attention to, which is like logistics, the movement of either the ballot materials mm -hmm. or ballot papers, ball the general yeah, ballot yeah, materials, yeah. and even officials that would yeah. be taking part in this um, election process. And then also, I think that they need to be trained so that they know what to expect. I feel like if we were ready for these elections, mm -hmm. um, certain units would have been trained mm -hmm. even in physical combat a bit, just so that when some of these situations and challenges arise, they can be able to manage the situations. <coughs> situations yes. Then um, also, like what we're doing, which is um, voter sensitization, which mm -hmm. is just telling the voters 
who are in those areas that do not have access to like social media mm -hmm. in order to get updated on what is expected when they get to the polling unit. So I saw a video online where a pastor in a Catholic church, a priest in a, a Catholic priest, church, yes, was, was actually sensitizing, you know, mm -hmm. church members, members on how to, you know, the thumbprint so yeah. that is counted as valid. So things like that. Where citizens, that's why it's a patriotic act. Acts, yes. We as citizens should do our own bit in any way possible to actually let people know this is and this is what is expected so that we do not go through this whole process mm. only for it to a lot of votes to be void Invalid, at the end yeah, of yeah, the day. So yeah. people need to come out because I'm sure a lot of technology has been put in place in order to monitor and also I see beavers. So that means they've imputed some technology in order to monitor and report these cases. So um, in security is another thing. So once we are able to you know, cover up all these areas, I think we're fine okay, and so we're then. ready for the election. Okay. All right, if you just tuned in, it's our Ladies Night Out and we're discussing voter sensitization do's and don'ts to take note of. Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818038 You could also tweet it to us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Our phone line is now open. Please call us on 0702500749. Yeah, Unoma, I think Unoma has something to say. Unoma, go ahead. Yes. Can, can we hear, can we hear you? Yes, now? yes, we can hear you. All right, so let's add to what the ladies have been talking about. I yeah. think it's important for us to double check, if possible, triple check that we have our PDCs. Now, sometimes people can be in a rush, yeah. so that so it would be a good opportunity for you to cut down to, to pack what you need ahead of time. Mm. Put your PVC in your bag, ensure that everything that you need is put into one location so when it's time for you to move, then you can move. Another thing that we need to pay attention to is respect for privacy. Mm. A lot of people go to polling units and you begin to try to find out what your friends are, who your friend is voting, and think that this is not the time to do that. I think it's time for us to concentrate on the mission, and which is to vote. So you go and carry out your civic duties and also give others privacy so that they too can carry out their civic duties in secrecy. It's yours, it's your vote, uh, your vote is yours to keep. And um, so also you should be able to respect other people's uh, privacy. Another thing that I would really uh, want to emphasize is for us not to use cameras or you know, use our phones to be taking selfies, whether in the polling uh, booth or things like that. Those things can actually be offensive. And um, if caught, you might be facing charges. So we have to be very vigilant at this time. We have to be very sensitive to the times that we're in. So please, those who are tempted to use their camera phones to take selfies of themselves while they're uh, that they're performing their duties, please, as much as possible, please desist from doing that. And then when you finish voting, it's also not a good time to be loitering around, mm. you know, because sometimes if you are, for example, wearing a campaign T-shirt, for example, you might become a target to people. So please let's be very watchful, do what you need to do, and um, as quickly as possible, you can move away from the, the area and um, safeguard yourself. Don't also try to write on ballot papers because you're going to render your ballot invalid. I think these are some of the points that I wanted to just push out. And lastly, please say a word of prayer as you're casting your vote and believe that your vote will definitely count. It's a step in faith for a lot of us who are people of faith, and we believe that as we put action to our faith, that we will see the results that we desire. Thank you so much. Thank you, um, Noma. <laughs> I like what, what Noma said about respecting people's privacy, because I, I actually, I can, what's the word now? I can preempt that a lot of people would actually want to see what other people are yeah. doing, and then there'll be a lot of, Picking yeah, and peeping and, and from there, for you know what's happening, 
one. I was at the supermarket this evening just before I came to the studio, and then I was just a bit still paying for what I got. And one man just walked up to me, a random person, and then he said, who are you voting for on Saturday? And I was taken aback for every time. Like, okay, am I supposed to answer or am I supposed to, you know? And I just smiled at him. I was like, why are you smiling? Do you even have a PVC? I was like, yes, I have a PVC. And then he just said, just make sure you're that He walked away. And I'm like, was I supposed to say anything to him? Was I supposed to answer? I was supposed to tell him who I was going to vote for. I didn't want to say so that I would not get outside. And then before you know what's happening, I'm lynched. And <laughs> so, yeah respects people's privacy very very important also i saw something um there was a post i saw online about if you don't even have a pvc or for whatever reason you were not able to get your pvc you can actually still support other people that are going out to vote on that by day encouraging by encouraging them you know maybe take a few bottles of water to polling units yeah. hand people water hand snacks or in whatever way it is that you can support right so i mean so that it's not that you're just sitting at home you are not hoping that exactly hoping that change comes come when you are not doing anything. So mm -hmm. even if you don't have your PVC, you can actually support one way or the other on Saturday and then also on the on the eleventh of um, March as well. Please also remember that our phone lines are open. You can call us on zero seven zero two five zero zero seven four nine. You could also send us a WhatsApp or SMS to our lines and tweet at us as Way Show Africa with the hashtag Ways Show. Okay, so I was also going to say, writing on ballot paper, we saw the video, the Vox Pop, when Dami went on the streets and had people um, the with the specimen papers do the thumbprint thing. I think a lot of people don't understand. We're actually going to be talking about this um, later yeah, this, this week, yes. Talking about how you should actually impress your, your thumb on the ballot paper, because a lot of people don't understand. They Did you don't. see people? Yeah, some people <laughs> only get like the tip. Mm -hmm. Some people never get the full because the they don't place their hands well on the stamp Just pad it itself. It, Tom, and you were saying something that sometimes the the um, what's it called now that space where so you have to be yeah, small. Yeah, previously that that um, the boxes the boxes used to be square and really small. Okay, so, so sometimes they would overlap into the and next overlap is invalid. Is invalid. Oh. So, so I like the fact that there's not that there's enough space, space yes, for you to just go space in it. for you to so you would have to. That's why you would have. That's why the sensitization is necessary mm. so that people. Do not do that without in that having yeah. that information and then render their their votes their invalid. Votes invalid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was also going to talk about the um, accreditation uh, system that we're now using the Beavers. I think people also need to be aware that you all, you need to go and make sure that you are actually accredited before you put out your votes. Maybe you were going to say something. How 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 do people so, check that? So, I mean, there, there are steps, right? So the first thing is when you arrive, vote, we all know voting starts at 8.30. So that's the first thing. You do. The accreditation process is going to happen first before we begin the voting process. So once you get to your polling units, you go to them. They have the... the See, that's why people need to go out early. Because it's not by 5 p.m. You'll now be thinking, oh, yeah, you know what? No well, African let me time. Just, let me just think I should go and vote <laughs> now. You should set out early because, mm. you know, before any chaos comes, you're able to sort your thing out give your vote, and then leave the place. It's not, it's not even necessarily about chaos. Now. I think we just actually need to be disciplined enough to know that, okay, this thing starts at this time. I, I'm hoping that the officials will be there. We won't have delay of election materials yeah, to, because of distribution thing. of the election that's materials. A, I'm really we'll hoping. Now and yeah, like Oshun's talking said, he said he feels like Anek isn't ready for us. But I want to believe, we, I mean, this is just how many days to go now four days to go. I, I, I don't want to. Prepare. What's that smell so. on your face, NJ? <laughs> that's time. why I made this list. You know, I listed out some mm. of the things that the government or rather like the federal government or the electoral government need to get ready before is... is and the thing about it is that there's no way we're going to know until... That day. That day. Mm -hmm. So if any excuse is going to come up, it's going to come up that day mm. or this delayed... But these are processes that we have done over time for years, mm. for a couple of years now. So it's not even a couple of years. Like in, in well long, now, wow. yeah. So it should be there should be a preparation. I see it online that they're prepared mm -hmm. because they say it. They say. But that is online until Saturday morning <coughs> at eight thirty. 
because they're going to be citizens that would be that patriotic to be there at 8.30 because time. they want to be done with the electoral process and On back time. in their house, yes. mm -hmm. in their houses. So there are people that are going to be there around that time. Now, how from, you're expecting that all through that, you know, plans have been put in place in order to make sure that there's no delay. But knowing Nigeria, I know that there may be, be some delays. Mm. I'm just hoping it's just going to be able, something that we can manage and still be an hour delay. Mm. That's okay. But when uh, voters are there by 8.30 and maybe at 11.30, mm. which is like there's two hours later. There's going to be a backlog you know, of, you know. So people at that time at 11.30, people, people, people are frustrated. People are frustrated. They've been standing under the sun since, hey, yeah. they could have been doing something else with their Saturday morning, even though they chose to do this, but that is not now in your place to frustrate that effort. effort. Mm. You know, so I guess we'll have to find out on Saturday morning. I want to believe that they are actually ready, but then at the same time, we as the voters also need to know what it is that we need to, yes. to, to do as well. So that's why I was talking about the accreditation. So after the accreditation, make sure that your name is on the, um, voters, the voters list. list. That yeah. is also very, very important. So First step, you get to your polling units, make sure that you're accredited through the BIVA system, and then check the, 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 the voters list to make sure that your name is there. After that, you can now go and get authenticated on the BIVA list through, I think there are, two, there are two ways you can get authenticated, through your fingerprints or through your facials, because at the point of registering for your PVC, you did some form of biometrics. So you can get on the, um, authenticated through your facials or through your thumbprints. Once you've been accredited, then you'll be handed a ballot paper. Now, this ballot paper is where you're going to see the names of all um, the candidates, candidates or the, and the parties. So there, you can just pick the one that it is that you're voting for. Go to the voting cubicle, make your choice in secret, and like Noma said, respect people's privacy. Yeah. I'm really hammering on that. Inside Respect people's inside privacy. Inside the, inside the <laughs> so going to the voting cubicle, make your choice in secret and drop your ballot paper inside the ballot box. Now after that you can either leave or you can say at least 300 meters away from the voting area so that you can actually vit, um, witness the voting sorting, voting counting. Are you going to wait to witness that? I would do my best. Okay, I'm not sure. Well, I would do my best. Uh, you know, most of the time, uh, depending on the polling booth, uh, booth, booth or the yes. polling unit, mm. sometimes there are very few, few enough that you by 11 o'clock, they they've summarized their whole and they're ready to go. Well, so mm. it depends on the crowd in you know the polling units close to you. So mm. okay, um, Unama. Who was talking there? I remember a time where we, the last um, election, I think that was the first election that brought in the, our current president. And um, in the area where I was staying, there were a lot of people that were very willing to stay to the very end. They stayed uh, into the night, you know, because the, the people were coming in, there were so many people coming in to vote. And then when they started counting, people were ready. <laughs> Some people actually came with blankets to stay and ensure that the, the votes were counted and then that people were, and the results, and then everything was computed accordingly. So I think we need that spirit, in the spirit of patriotism, for in as many people that can stay out to ensure that the process is carried through thoroughly. I would, I would encourage that people are able to stay. But if you feel that after you vote that you, you will fear for your safety in one way or the other, then it, I would advise that you quickly move away from some of those areas and uh, uh, find a safe place to, to, to stay because um, we don't want people getting hurt in their attempt to give or to carry out their civic duties. I mean, we remember the, the, uh, our point that we started talking on about the, the Labour Party member who was coming out to, to, to campaign and his arm got amputated. Mm. We don't want to see citizens have to go through trauma in just because they want to exercise their civic duties. 
So please, as much as possible, people can stay safe. I, another point I wanted to add is that in the spirit of, in the spirit of, in the spirit of patriotism, please do not try to impersonate anyone. A lot of people are going out trying to use other people's PVC to vote. It is a criminal offense. Yeah. If you do not have a PVC, try to get yourself useful by supporting other people. You don't try to impersonate someone because at the end of the day, if you are caught, there might be criminal charges brought against you and you might be going to jail. Okay. Okay. So I just wanted to point that out as part of the, the don'ts that we should pay attention to. Thank you so much. As voters or people who are preparing to vote. Thank you, Noma. We have a call. Lawman from Abia. Good evening, my dear sister. Good evening, Lawman. Yeah. Um, this is Lawman from Abia State. Thank you. See, I like what you people are doing. Thank you. Um, but do you know, if we are to sensitize voters, we need to let them know, number one, at the polling booth, as you are casting your vote, you, sometimes you see these heavy weight men, people with muscle, body builders. They will turn one side and be looking at you when you are voting. So we need to sensitize voters that this time around, no matter who is forcing you to vote against your conscience, stood your ground and vote the rightful candidate. Because sometimes they stay there. To manipulate voters, mm. See, and the secondly, we need to sensitize voters that on that day, whoever that will come with this new money, eh, new redesigned money, mm. to tell you, <laughs> take this money and vote against your conscience. Stand your ground, collect the money, put in your offices. It is between you, <laughs> the cubicle, and the uh, ballot paper. You stand there and vote, and let nobody. Let us tell Ivan, let them make sure nobody comes there with camera or, or his phone. Because sometimes they will make sure they will see you so you can shoot and then you are voting. Yes. So uh, please, this sensitization of voters is very, very necessary. So that at the end of the day, nobody will force you against your will. We really want to make a change in this country. So that at the end of the day, we will not suffer the way we are suffering. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you so thank much, Loman. Thank you. I like what he said. Although I don't know about supporting the part of collecting their money and still going to go and cast whatever vote it is you want to vote. Please don't take yeah. any money from anybody. Yeah. Just vote your conscience, to be honest. Just vote. Yeah. Go there, exercise your civic responsibility, vote your conscience, and leave. Or if you want to stay back to watch, stay back to watch, please. Also, yes, we've talked about the cameras and all of that. Keep all forms of cameras away. If you notice any at any point you feel like you're under any life threatening, any life threatening circumstance, please call for help. That's also very important. If you feel like at any point someone is threatening you or their party uh, participants anywhere saying something like, "Okay, you need to vote, you have to vote, you have to vote for that," please make sure you. I'm sure that we're going to have poll lines at least that we can actually send messages or calls if there's anything that we need to report. At the time as well, yeah. So, um, final words, Mary. Do you have anything to share? Please, let's just stay safe. Um, share your location as much as you can with your family or friends, mm. and um, try and avoid trouble. Peace of mind <laughs> is, is very really important. Cute. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're voting for. I would always say respect individuals' um, decisions about everything. So, I wish everyone a successful election. I hope it goes well. Thank you. NJ? Um, I think Mary has said most of it. Um, it's for us to just stay safe. Uh, vote, would I say, your conscience, but vote who you would be able to stand by. That's how I would put it. Mm. So it's not, it depends on what your conscience is telling Same. you. You can tell you one thing and you decide to go the yeah. other way. Yeah. So vote who you would be able to stand by and Yes, um, everyone needs to be safe. Um, don't forget your starter pack. Don't forget your election starter pack. And yeah, do what you have to do. Okay. No, my any final words? I, I think I'll just say um, be calm, prepared, and um, respect people's privacy. You know, be sensitive to what you are coming to do, which is voting. 
And um, while you're doing that, please vote and pray. Prayer is an action word. It's not just something that you just say. It's something that you do. So while you're voting, please believe that your vote will carry through and will make a difference. Thank you so much. And while you're voting, stay on high alert. Be ready for anything. Avoid anything that will bring problem to you. And like everyone says, he stays very safe. Thank you. Thank you, Norma. Also, let's stay away from voter suppression. And this is to the partisans, but particularly. Voter suppression through violence should not be tolerated on that day at all. Now, before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. Remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. Also, please... Don't forget to go out to cast your votes on Saturday and then on the 11th of March as well. This is also very important. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. The vote is precious. It is the most powerful non-violent tool we have in a democratic society, and we must use it. This is by John Lewis. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us tonight, and thank you to our viewers as well. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Good night. Good night. Good night.